In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest workflow that I know to upscale your AI images to remove their background and to resize them to your desired dimensions all in bulk. I'm going to be using my designs for this. I will have a link in the description to this tool. You can get started and try it for free or at the moment, as this video goes live, they've still got a Black Friday offer and we can get a massive discount on their annual and monthly subscriptions. Once you've logged into your MyDesigns dashboard, you need to head over to the listings tab and create a new folder by clicking onto the collection system up here. And what I'm going to do is create it with this button and call it AI graphics. You can call it according to your niche, just so you find the folder later on. You can use the default template for this, click add new folder next, then choose it from your folder system like this and click open folder to open this up. It's empty for now, but if you hit upload, select upload files, we can drag and drop hundreds of images into this field and get them imported into my designs for easy bulk processing. So I'm going to select mine from the side monitor. Right here, I'm going to do it in this example with 120 graphics at once. So let me drop these in. Once you've got them loaded up here, you can click upload all, upload designs, and then it's going to run through one by one. It takes a couple of minutes if you have a ton of files, but it is worth the wait. And you can also leave this screen and do something else meanwhile. Once that's done, you should see all of your designs in your folder. If your screen looks slightly different, it might be because you have the list view enabled like this, but if you click on grid, you can see all of the images more easily. So let's get started. The first step would be removing the background. So we're going to select all listings over here, go to all actions, remove background. This can all stay the same. Hit remove, continue, and then the job will be added to the queue right here. It's usually quite quick. It takes about a minute, two minutes, perhaps max. As you can see, it's running through the images there quite quickly quickly. And this is, by the way, using the same exact tool or AI mechanics that ClipDrop uses as well, which I have recommended before in the past. That's a really cool free way to remove the background from your images. But the free option is limited to one image at a time, which is obviously a bit annoying if you have hundreds of graphics to go through. So that's where my designs can save you a lot of time. Once that's finished processing, you can double click onto the mockup one file slot, and that will reveal all of the images with the background removed. Moved. And as you can see, in most cases, this background remover is extremely accurate. It's not always going to be 100%, but that is the nature of these AI tools. So sometimes you might have to actually edit some of these in Photoshop afterwards still, but mostly really good results. So now what we can do straight away is also upscale these images. So make sure they're all selected. Once again, head over to all actions and go to upscale image. This time we have to change the input file slot to mockup one and the output file slot, we could actually change to mockup one as well. That way a low resolution image with no background gets overwritten and turned into high resolution, high quality image without a background. So once you've got this done, click upscale image. Yes, override all files, hit continue. And then once again, we have to wait because this job gets added to the queue. There we go, that was super quick. Only took about a minute to upscale all of these graphics, 120 once and now I wanted to show you a quick bonus tip. So if you head over to all actions and image effect, you can actually apply textures to all of your designs in bulk as well. And all you have to do here is change the input file slot to mockup one, which is the graphic in high resolution without the background, then select a different image effect. You've got this one by default, which is quite a harsh one. We can flick through these. You always see the preview are quite like grunge four. that's a decent option. And what I also wanted to do is rather than looking at this unicorn as the example, because the texture effect doesn't work well on a unicorn, you can flick through the listings right here. And I think for this American flag, it makes more sense. So generate a preview over here, you can see what it would look like in the end result. I think that is pretty cool and suitable right here. It's not going to work for all your graphics, if you have cartoon themed stuff, then you know, a texture effect on that might not be as applicable, but you can still apply this in bulk and then pick and choose afterwards. So we get these saved into the mockup to file slot. All you have to do is hit apply image effect. And then as you can see, these will be added in no time. Let's look at the end result. There we go. I think you get just some of these look nicer with the texture. Some of them look nicer without, but it's nice to know that you have the option. 
So now for the last step, I wanted to show you how to resize the dimensions of these graphics to make sure they fit whichever product you want to print them on. And you do this by having everything selected, then clicking on canvas over here. That will bring up the new canvas system within my designs. First off, you want to head to templates over here and search for the product that you want to sell. In my case, I want to sell t-shirts. So Bella 3001 would be an example right here. Click on this and then the app board in the middle will change its dimension. If we click on this, you can see over here, it's now 4,500 pixels in width, 5,400 pixels in height. And uh, we've got all the different listings loaded right here at the bottom. If you don't see this, we can click this button to hide and reveal. Now to add all of the designs to this and get them resized, we need to go to add listing file, change the input file slot to mockup one, the one without the texture in this case, I'll use for the example, and then click add to all. So there we go, this took about two two minutes, you have to give it a bit of chance because this is technically like editing 120 PSD documents at the same time. That's why it takes a bit longer. But now we can edit this first document and resize our image or adjust the placement. So I'm going to scale this up a little bit and then use the alignment buttons right here to center. And now what we can do is rather than having to do this for each document at once, we can just click sync in the first one. So right click onto your graphic and then hit sync. And now it's going to apply that same sizing and alignment to all the other files as well. And once again, this will take a few seconds to sync over because there is so many documents in here. But if you give it a chance, there we go. Now we can flick through and you will see that the alignment is now all the same. It's all sort of at the top chest level and uh, it's resized on the t-shirt dimension. So all that's left now is heading to save in the top right corner for the output file slot. I'm going to change this to mockup three, use an empty slot for these new dimensions, format PNG, and then just hit save to get this added to your file slots. From there on, once this is done, we can either sell them through my designs on a t-shirt straight away. I've got a separate tutorial showing you the process of selling print on demand products with my designs highly recommend checking that out if you want to learn how to do all of this inside of my designs in one place or alternatively i'll also show you how to uh, download these designs as a zip file if you want to use them elsewhere or for a different purpose there we go the resizing is finished as well mock-up three slot if i double click on this we can now see all of the designs with the t-shirt sizing and if you want to download these go to all actions download as a zip make sure mock-up three file slot is selected and then hit download as zip right here and then it'll take a minute or two to zip this up and save it to your device we can extract the files and use them as you like alternatively like i said check out my video tutorial about selling these on etsy or shopify you can fill up the listing data and all this stuff in bulk as well and then create mock-ups in bulk publish in bulk massive time savings if you're doing it through my designs my designs is an absolute game changer for ai graphics and for selling your designs on etsy and shopify and if you want to learn about some of the recent updates as well as what's to come in the future make sure to check out this video next which is my interview with the founder of my designs who also gives us a live demonstration